Welcome to the October 6, 2008 edition of MassApequanews.com. I'm Christine Somer, and this is the president of Briarcliff College, Dr. George Santiago, Jr. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Briarcliff College is enjoying an active fall calendar with 1,800 students enrolled at this career-oriented institution of higher learning with three campuses, Bethpage in Nassau County, Patchogue in Suffolk County, and Long Island City, Queens. Briarcliff College President Dr. George Santiago, Jr. has found a moment to tell us about some of the programs available at Briarcliff, as well as upcoming events of interest, including the Fair Media Council's Connection Day and Suffolk County's Hispanic Heritage Day. Dr. Santiago, tell me about Briarcliff College. Okay, Briarcliff College was founded in 1966 by the Turan family. It's been in existence for approximately 42 years. Um, in, it started out as a secretarial school, and it was all female, and f uh, the students were required to wear white gloves. It was when secretarial schools were in the boom. And uh, in 1999, it was uh, purchased by Career Education Corporation, yes. a publicly traded company. Mm -hmm. um, and we are a part of their fleet of schools. They have about 80 plus schools across the country. So from white gloves to... to <laughs> yes, we offer uh, uh, certificate programs, two and four year degree programs in accounting, business administration, marketing management. Uh, we offer criminal justice. We offer graphic design, digital photography, office technologies, and information technology. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. From a secretarial school to a four year degree, Briarcliff College has certainly come a long way. Absolutely. I would say that we've been around for 42 years. In the last 10 years, we've graduated over 10,000 students. What that tells me is that we're making a profound impact on the communities in Long Island, and we're very proud of that. Absolutely. Um, congratulations. I understand that Suffolk County Executive Steve Levy and the County Department of Minority Affairs are recognizing you and your efforts to enhance the educational opportunities for Long Island's Hispanic population during Hispanic Heritage Day on October 24th. Yes, it's, it's quite exciting. Uh, first of all, to be mentioned in the same sentence as Steve Lee <laughs> is, is an honor in itself. Um, and for me, it's an honor both personally and professionally. I know what it took for me as a first generation college goer. Uh, to, to attend school and to graduate and all the issues that I had to deal with. And for me, um, I'm excited to be able to tell that story to, 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 to other students and their families. And inspire so, even the next generation. Absolutely. And then certainly uh, being on the other side now as an educator and the president of a college, for me, um, certainly the commitment is to enhance the opportunities for all students, particularly Hispanic students, and why I say his particularly Hispanic students is because we know that um, the dropout rates among Hispanics is the highest among yes. all racial ethnic groups uh, in high school and they're the lowest, uh, the fewest to go to, to college, attend and graduate from college. So. Okay, let's try to turn that around. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the Fair Media Council also has an office at the Bethpage campus of Briarcliff College and you serve on its board of directors. Correct. Can you tell me something about your participation with Connection Day on October 16th? Right. Um, well, Fair Media Council is a watchdog group. They basically uh, ensure that there's integrity in what the media does in the surrounding communities on Long Island and, and greater New York City area. And for us, during Connection Day, is, is about providing uh, workshops, panel discussions about um, about the media, about what they do, and how we can integrate ourselves with the media and vice versa. Yes. How, and, and for me, I'm doing a panel discussion on how to pitch the news, uh, news, the news media. I love news it. Reporters. So. <laughs> um, the Fair Media Council's Connection Day is on Thursday, October 16th from 8 to 4 at the Huntington Hilton. Correct, correct. Are you ready for a curveball? Okay, bring it on. <laughs> Who do you admire most and why? I would probably say well, one of my uh, heroes or icons that I admire um, has to be uh, John F. Kennedy. Um, he, uh, this, his presence, his leadership style, his uh, commitment to the common person, 
uh, uh, as a change agent uh, for, for social change, um, and his life was cut too short. He, he just was a, a phenomenal person. Absolutely. We try to ask these random questions sure, to give sure. our audience an idea of, you know, how you answer questions on the fly that, you know, aren't relevant to the topic at hand. Mm -hmm. One more question. Sure. Name one person from history besides John Kennedy that you would like to have dinner with. Anyone from history, okay. Um, I would probably say um, it would be an entertainer. Yes. Um, and that person would most likely be Lucille Ball. And I will say Lucille Ball because uh, I grew up with her. <laughs> I grew up watching uh, her, her television shows when they were black and white until they went into color, and she was just a funny woman. The experiences that the woman must have had in, in her lifetime, I would just love to be able to sit and chat with her and, 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 and listen to some of that. Absolutely. Okay, before we conclude, Dr. Santiago, what is next for you and Briarcliff College? Well, for Briarcliff College, uh, we wish to expand our degree programs. We have three degree programs that we wish to launch, actually four. In, in 2009, uh, we wish to offer the uh, BS in criminal justice. We expect to launch that one in January. And the other three that we plan on launching later in the year are the um, associate degree program in paralegal studies uh, for the Patchogue campus. We also wish to offer our first fully online degree program in business administration in the fall. And the third is a four-year degree in healthcare management. Very impressive. So we're looking forward to being able to expand our, our offerings to the community. Thank you so much, Dr. Santiago. Thank you. Massapequins, find Dr. Santiago on the MassapequinNews.com Who's Who page and find Briarcliff College on education.